Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So we're unboxing another inverter and I'm sure when I show you, well let me show you something first before I show you the inverter. So look here, it says made in India. Surprise, right? So now you think the Chinese only manufacture in China. They're like the Europeans as well. They have multiple factories in which they can manufacture products. So this one was made in India. Surprise. So it's a Daya inverter, but not a Daya inverter that you expect. So let me open the box, bring the device out of the box, and then we'll discuss my plans for it. So this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So before we get into unboxing this product, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe icon. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. So give me a second and I'll be back. So the, uh, the privilege of properly unboxing this device was taken away by customs. As you could see, they cut open the sides of the box. So I wasn't able to come and show you how I opened it and brought the device out. But here it is. It's the 5 kilowatt DA string inverter. Uh, before I discuss what my plans are for it, let me tell you what came with it. Um, as you can see, they gave us an AC. Uh, this allows us to put in our AC, our grid input. So it's our live, neutral, and earth. And it's pretty watertight. I like the way they do this. I see I, Luxpower does this for their inverters. They only seems to do it for the string inverters. And this is a single phase. They gave us our MC4 connectors, two of them. Our user's manual. Uh, Wi-Fi and then this allows you uh, starts to put it to mount it on the wall the bracket is already on the side of the inverter so that's the bracket right down there so this is um they are grid tight or PV string inverter and there's a 5 kilowatt version of it uh, let me give you a little bit of um, so what came with it the wall mounting bracket which you see on the inverter itself the AC power connectors, which is the one I just showed you, this one. AC power connector. And DC power connector, which is our MC4. And they give us two. Uh, stainless steel anti It's supposed to be anti-corrosion. I don't know why it says anti-collision bolt. A user's manual, which is what I'm reading for. Wi-Fi plug, which I got, which is this one. Uh, sensor, we don't have, but we have a um, sensor somewhere. Um, this square hole, I have it. It's not here, but I have it. It's in the other room, in the other room, and meter. We don't have the meter. So, um, Solomon actually sells meters which we use to monitor what's going on. So, there's a very strong possibility that I'll get from Solomon the meter. Okay, so having said that, how do I intend to use a grid tied inverter in a house that has no grid, in a country that does not have a feeding tariff? Very nice question. Uh, let me go a little bit detail into this and then I'll tell you. So here we have two strings, DC1 and DC2, a DC switch, a current limiter if you intend to do current limiting, uh, your provision for your, your dongle and then your connection to the grid. A huge heat sink as you could see. Uh, let me turn it around so you could see the side but before we do that we can read a little bit of what it says on the side. Uh, Six model Sun 5K G, 6.5 kilowatts DC input voltage maximum is 550, and MPPT range from 7 to 550. Uh, two MPPTs, uh, two by 13 amps, short circuit current two by 20, so we could push up to 20, but that's not advised. Is that that's not what they suggest? Uh, peak output five. Um, you can search to 5.5. And um, I think that's it. It's IP65, of course, which means I could install it outdoors. So let me show you the back of it, and then I'll tell you my plans for it. So there is a bracket removed. Here is the back of it, and you can see the fins. And then I would like to know what this So Anyone that knows what these things are, please uh, post them in the comment section below. It looks similar to what we have on the um, 5 kilowatt, but the 5 kilowatt has a fan that blows through that. This does not have a fan. This is just the 
whatever that is. So if you know what it is, please let me know. I'll also ask the Deye folks to tell me what that is. But for those of you watching the videos, if you know what these two humps or these two bumps are, please kindly tell me what they are. So let me turn it back and then explain to you my plans for this inverter. So we're looking at the inverter. So as you all know, I currently have a 5 kilowatt day here that looks just like this one. 5 kilowatt day inverter that I'm running on in the house with a 10 kilowatt hour battery. And I have 5 kilowatts in panels. The inverter maximum, this inverter, the maximum is 6 and a half. So once I get to 6 and a half, I cannot add any more panels. However, my daily consumption might require that I use more than 6,500 uh, 6, watts in panels. So how do I get around that? I can buy another inverter, but I don't need the capacity, or I can do a PV inverter that will allow me to do what is called an AC coupled solution. So let me say that again. To allow me to run more than the 6,500 watts in panels that the DA inverter allows, I can do an AC coupled solution. So you see those a lot of people who have uh, Victron inverters, they use Fronius as their AC coupled solution. It doesn't feed back to the grid, but what it does is it inputs it into, um, it uses it for self consumption to power the loads and then charge the batteries. That's what it does on the Victron and that's what it, I hope it will do on the day end. The air, however, has made this process relatively foolproof, really very simple. So what you do is, you see this grid, this thing that says grid, you plug, you take out, you take the three wires and you put it inside here. You put it into where it says gen, okay? So you put it into the gen, section, you put it into the gen port, and then you go into the settings, and instead of doing smart load, you select micro inverter. And then you tell it when you want it to come on, and you tell it when you want it to come go off. So what that does is what um, a very sophisticated or so, a simple way of doing what is called frequ frequency shifting. Why is it important? So let's say this inverter is outputting 5,000 watts, right? Your batteries are full. You don't have a load to support it. It will continue to try to output 5,000 watts. It's not going to go anywhere, and it might blow the inverter up, and anyway, it might damage the inverter. So what the air has done is, by you doing the setup and telling it when you want it to start charge and when you want it to start producing and stop producing, it sends a message to the inverter and tells the inverter, uh, brother or sister, we're done. We're full. Please stop sending power or dial down the power you send. So I think this is pretty cool. Very easy. No brain. I don't have to go into a color control and try to configure this one or go into do the setting. Just take your three wires, put it into the generator input, select micro inverter, and boom, you're ready to go. So when, when I do it, I'll do a video to show you. So folks, I know I promised you a bunch of things that I'm not showing you yet. And I'm beginning to remind myself of Tavarish, Friday from YouTube, who starts some projects but never finishes them. I promise you, everyone that I've started, I'll finish. This one, I hope to be done by tomorrow. Or if I don't have the staff, next week. So what I want to do is add additional panels, take one string off my existing, as you know I have uh, two strings, one, two, remove one string, increase what I have on that string, and then push it to this inverter, and then we can compare and see how they perform. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos. Nigeria.